Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm gonna make this video short and sweet because I have to get to work in about a half hour. Uh, but I got my Ipsy bag, and I'm really impatient, so I thought I would just do a quick unbagging. Um, this Ipsy bag has shown up a little bit later than my usual ones do. Like, usually I get the bag before I even get the tracking code. Um, but I was home this weekend, and this came while I was home. So, yeah, that's why it's a little bit late, but... Alright. So, the theme this month is hashtag Ipsy Love by Ipsy. Um, and then it says that until you find someone or something to give it... Or love is just a word until you find someone or something to give it meaning. This February we're celebrating warm hugs, butterflies in your stomach, a new favorite blush, your best friend's tweets, love in all its wondrous forms and ways to express it. And then, of course, it says, like, you know, how you can win a one-year subscription to the Glam Bag... And, um, yeah, this is Ipsy stylist Christian Dominique, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. The bag is super cute. I think this is one of the cutest bags that I've ever gotten from Ipsy. Um, it looks like this. It's got the pink and gray motif. Um, on the back, it's just straight pink. I think this is adorable. I love this pattern on the bag. Um... So, the first thing that I see is the Eva NYC Up All Night Voluminizing Spray. Um, my hair has a lot of, as I just throw it around, my hair has a lot of volume to begin with. It's actually, like, super thick. So I don't think I'm going to be using this. I may gift it to somebody else or, you know, just kind of pass it on to my mom or something. I don't know. Uh, but this is definitely not something that I would probably use. Um, the next thing that I see in here is an eyelash curler, which is awesome because I currently do not own an eyelash curler. Um, let's see. So it looks like this. This is from the brand... Meet Makeup by Artists for Artists. So it just looks like this. Um, it's really kind of cute. Like, you know, the style is kind of different than what I've seen. And then you do get three, like, refillable pads, which is cool, too. So, yeah, that's awesome. Like I said, I don't currently own an eyelash curler, so it's kind of cool to just get one. Um, the next thing is a face oil. Uh, from Mitchell and Peach. I do like how they put it in this little bag, so in case it would leak, it wouldn't get all over your bag. Um, but it looks like this. There's really no... Okay, never mind. It does tell you kind of what to do with it. Um, and it's called the Flora Number no. 1 Fine Radiance Face Oil. I don't think it really has a scent to it. I don't know, I don't usually use oils on my face, um, but maybe I'll have to give this a try. You just kind of put it uh, into your skin alone or under moisturizer, and it's kind of like massaging it in. Uh, but, yeah, interesting. Something new. And then the last two items are both makeup related. Um, the first one is a City Color Creamy Lip Stain in the shade Flirtini. Um... I've heard a lot about City Color as a brand, but I've never actually used anything from them, I don't think, uh, unless I would have gotten it in an Ipsy bag. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. And then it just has like a doe foot applicator. Ooh, super pretty color. I'm not usually a super huge fan of like these, you know, lip like liquid lipsticks or lip stains. Um, but that is a really pretty color. It's like a dusty rose kind of shade. Um, so I'll have to give this a try and see what I think about it. And then the last thing is a blush from Model Co. Uh, it's in the color Cosmopolitan. Um, let me just get this open. I had This is one of the products I had seen a lot of teasers about, just because the front packaging is so... You know, it stands out just with the big word blush on it. Because um, I follow Ipsy on Instagram and stuff, and they always are showing, like, teasers of this month's bag, you know? 
So that's what the color looks like. It's just kind of a light pink shade. And that's that there. I don't know if you can really see. That's what the color looks like. And it's super light. It's kind of powdery, but I'm sure it'll be fine on the cheeks. That's what it looks like next to the lip color. I think you can see it. It's right there. Um, but yeah, those are all the products that came in my month or in this month's Ipsy bag. Um, it's not one of my favorite bags, but it's not like the worst bag I've ever gotten either. All in all, I really, really like the actual bag. I will be using that for, you know, something, you know, whatever I need a bag for. Um, the only thing I don't really like is the hair spray, and that's only because I don't need extra volume in my hair. Um, but the lip stain, the blush, and the face oil, you know, those are kind of cool, especially because I've never used a face oil before. And you can always need a new eyelash curler. So, uh, yeah, I did probably rate this bag maybe a 6 out of 10, uh, just because... You know, they're good products, they're just maybe not the products that I would have picked out for myself. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Ipsy unbagging. Let me know down below what you guys got in your bags this month. Uh, Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription service that sends you, uh, you know, full size to deluxe sample size uh, products every month. It's like your period, but only beautiful. Um, so I'll leave my referral link in the description below. And uh, until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a beautiful day, and uh, bye!